here with my 96 Jeep Grand Cherokee and last year I showed you how to replace the steering gear. If you haven't seen that video just click on the link in the description below to check it out because my tiny project for the day is this power steering pump. Now there's nothing wrong with the one I have on here now so it's going to be my spare but if yours is giving you trouble I'm going to show you how to replace it so let's get started. You want to begin by jacking up the front end and supporting the axle with jack stands, then remove the negative battery terminal. We need to remove this high pressure line from the pump, and that can be difficult with the regular wrench due to limited space. So I recommend this Sonix Crowfoot flare nut wrench set, and I'll leave a link for this in the description below. I'll be using a 16mm for my aftermarket line, but you'll need an 18mm for the OEM line. I'm using a 15 millimeter wrench to turn the tensioner bolt clockwise so I can remove the belt from the power steering pump pulley. And with the high pressure line out of the way, we need to remove the low pressure hose from the reservoir. There's a total of three fasteners that mount the power steering pump to the bracket. Just spin the pulley until the hole lines up with the bolt and you'll need a 13 millimeter deep socket for removal. So this is the reservoir and this is the pump held together by two metal retainers on either side. So lift up on this tab and tap it out of place for removal. This O-ring is the only seal between the pump and reservoir. Putting it back together is the reverse of taking it apart. I'll make a video on removing the pulley at a later time, but to save me some trouble, I ordered a new pulley, and this is the Rugged Ridge Power Steering Pump from Omics Auto part number 18008.10. This pump cost me $225 ship, but it's new, and it comes complete with the reservoir and cap. And I also ordered this heavy-duty billet power steering pump bracket meant to replace the weak factory cast aluminum bracket that's prone to cracking, and I'll leave a link to all parts mentioned in the description below. You always want to install the pulley with this lip facing outward and check out my pulley installation video that I'll leave linked in the description.
I'm just holding the bolt still with a 14 millimeter socket while tightening this nut with an 18 millimeter wrench. The bracket is held in place with three fasteners and you'll need a 14 millimeter socket for removal. I won't be reusing these spacers because the new bracket is thicker than the original so that would cause my power steering pump to stick out further than my other pulleys which would cause belt problems and after getting the bracket back in place I noticed the passage for the fasteners on the new pump were threaded and the old bolts don't fit so I had to drill all three of them out with the 5 16 drill bit. I'm using Valvoleve power steering fluid and once you fill up the reservoir, you'll need to purge the system of air. So leave the cap off and make sure both front tires are off the ground. Then turn the key to the accessory position just before start and turn it lock to lock at least 10 times which allows the fluid to flow through the system and lubricate. When that's done, set the Jeep back on the ground, then start the engine and slowly turn the wheel lock to lock another 10 times constantly checking the fluid level and add some if necessary. <laughs> 